So let's let's go back and talk a little bit about what microbiome is. I, I'm, I'm still amazed because I'm watching TV now and seeing commercials for humans on vitamins that basically say, oh, this really helps your biome. And yet I would say, honestly, about 50 percent of my clients that I see and I'm getting a fairly selective group still don't know what microbiome is. So talk a little bit to that, if you could, Brandon, that would be really helpful. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So in essence, a microbiome is like a diverse collection of microscopic organisms, and they typically reside within a living space. So today we're going to probably talk mostly about gut microbiomes, but it's not just the gut. I mean, there's skin microbiomes, there's ear, oral microbiomes, microbiome in the mouth. I mean, there are microbiomes found on rocks. And so understanding this kind of complex diversity of bacteria and microbes and really creating and taking up this space is, is a big thing. And we're talking about a whole health aspect, you know, with regards to the gut, there's that old adage that always said, you are what you eat. And, you know, that was one of the things that everybody was like, yeah, 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 we understand. But now with the technology and the science that we have, we actually can say and, and truly show you are what you eat because this food, these foodstuffs that are coming down into the gut, they have to be processed. They have to be digested. And those metabolomes and everything else, proteins, short chain fatty acids, they all have to be going somewhere to be able to make the body function properly. And that's really what the microbiome is about, creating a sort of eustasis or a homeostasis, a balance in that gut in order to provide proper digestion and absorption for your body.